Hello Gemini, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. I'm going to be doing your bonus general reading. So take what resonates and this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign or cross watchers for Gemini. And for personal readings and more accuracy, reach out on WhatsApp, Instagram and email. I do white prey based spells for high skirt. We have energized pure intention charge, high vibrational pure in pure high quality green crystals and these are in limited stock so if you want to grab your favorite crystal hurry up you can reach out to me on my instagram check out all the reels follow my instagram for more updates if you want to be a part of my wish fulfilling workshop guys this is a three day workshop and all the content is pre-recorded uh, simplify for you if you want to be a part of it please reach out to me as soon as possible because the seats will be filling fast and uh, yeah that's pretty much it okay do like share comment and subscribe to this channel for more videos on your sign gemini let's see the messages for you Gemini, right now you're working on your goals. You're working on your goals and you're feeling really powerful right now. I'm seeing you're working in team. A lot of people are in support of you. Wherever you are working, if it's your own business, if it's a career, if it's a job, I'm seeing there's a lot more growth. I'm seeing you rising. I'm seeing you taking slow steps towards major abundance. Your knowledge is increasing day by day. You're reading some books. I feel like a lot of people rely on your work, on your skills. They are being appreciated highly. You're being acknowledged. You're being honored for the work that you're doing right now. You come off as highly skilled worker and a perfectionist. You're going to receive the results of your hard work. You will be making good money. I'm seeing amethyst is very close to you or a citrine is very close to you. A combination of amethyst or a citrine is very close to you. All right, so you may be having these stones or you just work, you're having these vibrations of citrine and amethyst. You're feeling calm and composed and at the same time, the money is also growing. They are interrelated. You feel confident, you feel powerful. All right, and you're growing in your work, like you're adding something or the other to your work and which is helping you become a pro in it. Five of Wands, if you're married, your marriage is, is, is a bliss right now, okay? It's just getting stronger with time. Your person is very supportive of you. Okay, Five of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Cups, Knight, King of Wands, and Three of Cups. Mm -mm. Wow. Two people coming in. At least one person is definitely falling in love with you. I feel this could be a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Someone new is coming in to fight for you. This person is going to distract you heavily. I feel like you will be like, oh my gosh, I'm in the middle of something and something new happened. Like someone proposed me. What do I do now? You're getting attracted to this person. You're, you're changing your thought process. You're changing your focus. Your focus is getting more towards love life. This person is showing you intense emotion. I feel this is highly seductive personality. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. But the connection over here is based on deep friendship first. So you guys are going to share, uh, you know, a good time together. Talk about things, talk about your past experiences, talk about all the positive stuff. You guys will love spending time with each other like best friends. You guys will become best friends. Whenever you need them, they will be there for you. Okay, they care for you a lot. They pamper you a lot. That's the energy that I'm getting. So you're getting distracted, I'm sensing. There's a change in your life happening. I'm seeing your attractiveness is increasing. You're like looking much more attractive with time. You're looking much more uh, handsome or beautiful. Six of cups and the star. Oh, wow. Let me see the six of cups over here.
Oh, you might be working late night because most of the attention is going towards this new love. So you get little time to invest in your work. So you might work late night. Okay, you might wake up uh, till late at night to cover your uh, work. Some of you are teachers over here or an entrepreneur or an artist or an entertainer. I feel you're doing really well. You might get famous, you might get popular, you may be in public eye real soon. You're already in public eye. So you have to manage your you know, love life and your career as well. So you are hanging out a lot with this person and at the same time, you're also minding your business. You're also working on your goals. So it gets really tedious for you. These days, things are getting difficult and tedious for you to handle because you're managing both the stuff. You're going back to work and then you're dealing with this person, then going back to work. So you may not rest much. You may not be able to rest much. So the king and queen of wands is a clear message of you both being soulmates. You both being uh, familiar to each other. It feels like this is your past life connection. This is your past life connection, guys. Ace of Cups, you're making a decision to confess to this person your feelings or they're making a decision to confess you their feelings towards you. And they're just growing. This could be a Libra. Okay? Until now, you guys have been minding your own. You guys have been like keeping quiet, not telling each other much. But things are just coming out of control, I feel, especially from this person's end. I'm also seeing you will fall in love with this person pretty quick. So this is a beginning of a new love. A new love story is emerging. The devil and the seven of wands. The problem over here is that your career will suffer. That's what you think. It demands a lot more attention and you're not able to give much time to this person. That's what you think. If you confess, you will have to give them more time, which you're not able to give. You're bounded by work, responsibility. So somewhere I feel like you want to keep it to yourself for now. I feel you want to come out of this energy because this is almost burning you out like anything. You are not able to spend time with this person totally. Somewhere you also feel like this person, why is this person hiding from you? I feel like this person is not literally confessing to you that they have feelings, but they definitely do have feelings. And uh, they are also a little, you know, in their own world. You're not able to crack whether this person is in love or they're just wanting a deep friendship with you. Okay, the devil, the seven of wands, the devil. What, the, what does this person want from Gemini? See. Six of Swords, you're helping them come out of the past trauma somewhere. I feel like you've helped this person. They're letting go of some toxic uh, relationship that they were extremely, you know, involved in and, you know, disturbed with. I feel that person was extremely codependent on them they're coming out of that energy they're finally releasing someone they're finally breaking up with someone but right now i feel it's not the right time for you to confess because this person is still trying to figure out uh, their life they haven't yet been extremely clear they have passion for you but when it comes to the commitment part i feel they would take some more time because they are setting boundaries to themselves as they're still hurt or there's still something that they're need to, needing to clear before they can come towards you before they can think of something very serious but there's a strong friendship over here this person is stuck in a negative uh environment in a negative relationship this person is too uh engrossed in, in these things that they're not able to think straight and not not able to feel love for anyone in general this could be a pisces or an aries yeah capricorn very strong personality but the problem over here is this person is not having enough time for love right now whereas you are so deeply craving for this person to confess things to you the thing is this person will need some more time to open up in love because they're not yet come to that point of uh 100 percent commitment but they love the company that they have with you they love the deep friendship and this soon is going to turn into love but they will realize it a little later than you do yes you're falling in love with this person faster i'm sensing 
they want you to slow down this person definitely is a potential match for you they could be your soul they are your soulmate actually because we got that uh this is a gemini another gemini but i'm seeing this could be your soulmate this is your soulmate most probably but the thing is you're falling in too fast you're giving you're giving into this too fast you have to slow down a bit because this person wants to go slowly as there's something that they're stuck with they need to come out of yes two of cups this person has mutual feelings they will confess this to you but they will take few months i would say two months maximum they will take time so you ease down you stay slow you do your work and don't fall in love too quickly this person right now is helpless with all the things going on in their life so they really need your friendship and your support system so this is a mutual love relationship happening okay i feel you're too f you you know you are pushing things faster than this person is you're like oh i if this person is there i'm falling in love i'm going to get married and if this person says no i'm going to leave them don't do this somewhere i feel like your person really asking you to slow down energetically but they definitely are thinking of you as a marriage material if you're going to give them space to let them think and you know move with their own pace if you push things things might not work out this could be a cancer they see you as a boss personality you you could be a slightly dominating person than them queen of pentacles in the justice you're looking for marriage i feel gemini you're going to push this person for marriage so slow down a bit and i'm feeling like there will be justice in the end of the day they are going to confess to you because they see you as an all rounder they see you as a complete package so why not but the thing is that right now this person really needs a friendly support so here i'm sensing the outcome is beautiful and this person will definitely give you what you want all right right now you will have a major place in your career a lot of abundance a lot of success stability and sense of security is coming a solid foundation will be laid in your career you will be at the top position you're chasing your dreams you're chasing your desires and your passion feel that is making you victorious in your field some of you dealing with a taurus or a libra in love five of swords the only thing over here is you might take a lot of stress regarding when will this person confess what is the suggestion over here suggestion is to take some time off from this person every now and then and live your life go out on a vacation not every time with this person but with yourself with other people in uh, in your group in your circle that will keep you balanced and that will also keep you distracted from this person too much involving if you're involving your head too much into this person's life you will be able to focus on your uh, selves more okay so some of you this could be a, an aquarius the high priest keep your emotions to yourself for now that's what it is saying right now you could be dealing with the pisces over here but what i'm seeing is let this person think and you know um inquire about you like let them know let them try to know let them get curious to know whether you have feelings whether you still feel the same whether you do feel the same uh whether you're going to say yes or no give them that sense of you know instability insecurity like they should feel insecure that you you are uh what you're up to like there they should not be sure of your feelings towards them so that they can keep making interest towards you they keep making uh gestures they keep reaching out they keep showing interest so i feel like uh, you're intuitive and you know this this is the one for you but you will not speak up until this person is also opening up their heart to you i'm definitely sensing within one month's time they're going to open up their heart after you meet this person okay they will open up their heart but they will be slow in their action they will observe you first so there's a lot of passion between you guys i feel this person will also make uh, uh intimacy okay they will also try to come towards you physically but i'm seeing you refraining from this until this person confesses that they want to marry you or something serious okay
your person is acting like they don't know whether they have feelings or not so or it is an advice for you to just keep feelings to yourself for now yeah they have a mother in their family that they're looking up to and i feel like maybe they want an advice of their mom to come towards you male or female this person could be anyone they want to come towards you if their mother agrees to it they are very close to their mother i'm sensing so i'm definitely seeing mother is appreciating this connection definitely she's fond of you she will be fond of you true love this seems to be a true love so that is why take your time relax no need to rush love yourself first so this person is definitely positive but as long as you're in this energy of self-respect and minding your own and loving yourself this person is going to still keep loving you okay and falling in love with you you're going to shine through it's time for you to shine make it big if you believe in something it will work for you it will happen you don't have to stress around it you don't have to make too many efforts self-confidence helps have self-confidence that things that you want in your life will come and i'm also sensing tiger's eye bracelet is going to work out wonders for you we have the tiger's eye bracelet with a tiger charm in it and i do energize them and they're 100 percent pure and high vibrational so you can reach out to me if you want to grab that crystal yeah this person is gonna confess their feelings you will be shocked when they do so give them that chance to do that all right what else come to the edge it's time for you to take little risk to make it big to make big changes in your life whatever you're doing it's time for you to make efforts don't be in a denial if you are losing confidence it's because you're denying that things will not happen as you expect this person appreciates you a lot i'm seeing a lot of people appreciate you for the work that you're having this person yeah i'm seeing they are not going to confess you openly they will be admiring you secretly okay they will stay secret for a long time they will not let you know about their feelings so let them come towards you on their own gemini this person could be a libra this person could be a scorpio i'm seeing leo i'm seeing aquarius i'm seeing aries from Aries to Pisces, your person's feelings towards you. All right. Aries is definitely wanting to start a new chapter in life. They're leaving someone behind to be with you. Taurus, if you're already dealing with an Aries and things are not right, this person is moving on. They found someone else. The Taurus person right now is trying to figure out their life and you've come into their life to bring hope, to bring that light and happiness, stability. They are thankful. Gemini is keeping feelings to themselves, too worried about the image they have. Cancer. Cancer wants to date you. They're very sure of this thing moving forward in life. Leo. Leo sees you as a future partner. Leo sees you as a complete package, so they want to marry you. I'm seeing or wants a lifelong relationship first. Then we have Virgo. Virgo is coming passionately towards you with a marriage offer. Libra. All right. The Libra person is walking away because you gave them a red sign. Means that you didn't show any kind of interest to them. So they're walking away. This person could have been a flirt. Scorpio. If this person tries to come back, they will come back changed. Now let's see Scorpio is in love with you, but they're too shy and too hesitant to speak out the truth. Sagittarius wants to marry wants to be with you live life with you oh my gosh but there's something that's blocking this person maybe they're not financially as good as you are or they're going through some financial downhill capricorn capricorn highly attracted towards you very very attracted they will be complimenting you all day aquarius wants to work on this connection like they want to work hard you're their priority pisces all right pisces is having i feel they're living in the fantasy world this person is not able to point a finger on one person like sometimes they are attracted to you sometimes there's someone else that comes in into picture and then they get attracted to them so it's a very shady energy like wishy-washy person i'm not seeing this person being the one for now at least let's see the charms
you could be dealing with someone that has an athletic build and this person is looking for marriage this person could be uh, you know a social media star or they might find you through social media uh, you will see a rose quartz in their hand or you're wearing a rose quartz if you're not get a rose quartz very important or a tiger's eye bracelet and then i'm seeing that this person secretly is going to admire you a lot but will act like they're just a best friend because they're going through a lot um i'm seeing you're going to get the badge of honor you're very well respected you're becoming more spiritual and uh giving towards things someone's name is rihanna rina something with rin or near someone's a nigerian someone's from india someone is an nri non-reliable indian uh someone's from russia ireland england iran someone is a model here runaway model i'm seeing or a player rugby player nick could be the name randy ronald Ibiza, someone's from there. Armani. Someone is a makeup artist. Anything basically, guys. And these are the names in your person's uh, letters in your person's name or your, uh, your name or the initials, okay? I'm seeing your life being uh, going to a higher notch. Like I'm seeing things are turning uh, better for you. Things are growing for you luck is changing for good i wish you all the best don't forget to like share subscribe and comment come back for more. i'll see you back again with more stuff bye